welcome back to Liv's channel. So I look like the wreck of the Hespers, but I don't care. Um, today you saw I am, we are reading Psalms 23. It's only a little um, verse. So I'm just going to like read it out loud and then um, I'll do some notes and I'll tell you what I wrote and yeah. Once again, the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valleys, I fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they confront me. Oh. Comfort me. <laughs> you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. But that's just like such a little, like a little verse, but it's so powerful. So I'm going to just like little notes. Um... And then I'll come back and tell you what I guys guys wrote for each like verse kind of thing. This is what I said for um, Psalms 23. My freaking goodness. Um, the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. I said, but it is um, God's understanding. So if we follow God, just think that we're his sheep. You know how like a sheep has a shepherd? God is our shepherd and we're the sheep. We just got to follow him. Act dumb like a sheep and follow God because he's the shepherd. So... That's kind of what it's saying because, like, if we go our own way um, and, not like, God's plan and, like, to follow God, we are going to get lost like a lost sheep. And then it says, he makes me lay down in green pastures. Pastures. Pa <laughs> he leads me beside quiet waters. So I just said, if you follow him, believe um, that he is your father and he is absolutely amazing and loved you so incredibly much he will give you peace so i just said god is peace because it's like he will you know lay you down in the green pastures he will he will lead you beside quiet water so you don't have this anxiety and chaos going around like you have joy and chaos but sometimes that's not reality <laughs> but yeah anyways um, verse 3, he refreshes my soul, he guides me along the right path for his name's sake. So I said like every morning I should be praying to follow Jesus and to, remu and to renew my soul. So like every morning I should be um, praying, Lord Jesus, renew my soul for a new day. You know, like, because like our souls need renewing, you know, it's just a day could be a destruction of the soul sometimes, so. Yeah, and then I've said, like, for his name's sake, I said his name does not deserve the hate. So it's, like, I think it's, like, mainly saying if we, like, claim we're Christians um, and we're, like, a follower of Jesus and then we do not what the law says, like, the word. And then it says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So that's another thing, like, I can walk a, actually, like, dead set, darkest valley. Like, I could walk 
you know one of those dark streets in the neighborhood i could walk down there with a man with a knife going to kill me like he wants to kill me but god will let anything no god will prevent anything from happening you know like he will that's the thing um he will protect like we should not fear we should not like not fear any evil like we should walk in free because like if god's with us all the bloody time why are we fearing because like we're on this earth for jesus and if we die we'll we just go to heaven anyways so <laughs> win win <laughs> um so yeah like we should not fear anything or anyone because God is the comfort, God is the peace, and he is always with us. Um, and then you prepare a table for me, up. Uh, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and cup, my cup overflows. So I, um, and by the way, <clears throat> a verse, well, like a chapter, um, can be inter interpreted um, differently for everyone. So this is what I just said. Um, so yeah, for the that one, I just said, like, how much more, this is, like, from another verse too, actually. I think it was from John, but it says, like, how much more will our Father give us if our enemies are fulfilling? So, like, when you see everyone around and you're, like, how are they doing everything? Like, why are they living a life so happy and I'm miserable and I'm, and I'm praying and I'm living for God? Like, how? Like, why? I used to do that all the time. I'm like, like look at others and I'm like, how, like, you don't believe in God. Like, how are you fulfilling? And I'm so happy. <gasps> no. Well, exactly. You let them fulfill their own destiny. Believing in God, you get eternal life and peace and joy and with him. Like, imagine living with this beautiful... Look, I can't even imagine what heaven would be like because it's like... Think of a fantasy, like a fantasy world times freaking a hundred. Like I, I can't even. So like, I have to always put that in consideration because it's like you look around and you're like, how are they getting something that, like they, like they, asked for? And here I am, like and haven't got anything. But it's like God will bless you. God will bless you, and 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 bless you. If His will, the will be done. Keep your eyes on Jesus and just know what's good from evil. And it's like, but it's so freaking hard because the devil is like, it's like distractions. Like it's like so hard, but like that's only his one, like it's only his one wish for us and command for us is to just obey the laws and commands of the God and he will love us always. That's all we have to do. Look, lucky, I cry all the, all the time about this, but lucky Jesus died on the cross because it's just so much more easier Like when we do get into temptation and sin that we can just repent here and there. Like we don't have to go kill a freaking lamb. Like in the Old Testament, that was, would have been so hard. So thank you, Jesus. But yeah, I just think all of that is basically just saying, keep your eyes on God always because... You know, when like evil comes, don't be scared and don't run away and don't fear because that's where your faith lacks. So like if you have a strong faith, nothing's going to hurt you um, because you know Jesus is with you. Um, but if your faith just lacks a little bit, that's where the evil can come in. Um, yeah, so you just got to have strong faith. And I just think it's just <sighs> trusting him with absolutely everything in like in your life like finance job relationship it's just giving it all to him and because he will love and he will give you goodness and he will give you so much so much peace in your life and forever because we will dwell in the house of the lord Anyways, 
it's my Bible study. Come back for more. If you have any questions, comment below. Look at my little... I was bored in the car. Anyways, um, comment below. And comment below if you want more of them. Because it's very fun. Even though it hurt my voice.